Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 11. A clean installation is just a process that deletes everything on the hard drive to install a fresh copy of Windows 11. This will not only help to avoid upgrade problems, but you will be starting with a new installation which can improve system performance and fix existing problems. If you're going to use this option, it is always recommended to create a full backup before proceeding. You can check the video description below to find out the link to the video for the steps to do a full backup. So here is how to do a clean installation of Windows 11. First, you want to download and install the PC Health Check to determine if your computer is compatible with Windows 11. So to do that, you need to open the Windows 11 official website and then at the bottom of the page, just click the Download PC Health Checkup link and save that file to your computer. Then double click the installer, check this option and click the install button. Once the installation is complete, just click the finish button and make sure that this option is checked. Here, just click the check now button to confirm if your computer is compatible. You can see all the results here. And if something's not compatible, when you open the full report, you will get links to information on how to fix a problem in order to upgrade your computer. So now that you know that your computer is compatible with Windows 11, you can proceed with the upgrade. To begin the process, you need to open the official Windows 11 download page, and then you scroll down to the Create Windows 11 Installation Media section, and then click the Download Now button. Save the file. open the folder and launch the media creation tool. In the past, the media creation tool was a tool that you could use to do an in-place upgrade or to create an installation media. Starting with Windows 11, the media creation tool, it's just for that, to create a USB bootable media or to download the ISO file. And you can no longer use it to do an in-place upgrade. So that's why it's been simplified and you're not going to see the option to, to upgrade. Neither you're going to see the option to choose a 32-bit version because Windows 11 only comes on 64-bit. If you need to change the language, just clear this option and select the language right here. And as you can see the addition, you can only download Windows 11. Then click Next. Because we're creating a bootable media, select the USB flash drive option and make sure to connect a USB drive that has at least eight gigabytes of space. Then select that USB from the list and if it is not listed, make sure to click the refresh option. Remember that anything on the drive that you select will be erased. So make sure you select the right one. Then click next. And now the Windows 11 installation files is going to download on the computer and the setup will create a USB bootable media that you can use to boot your computer and install the new version of Windows. Once the USB has been created, click the finish button Keep the media connected and reboot your computer. Also, make sure that your PC can boot from USB. Usually, to boot your computer from USB, you need to change the BIOS settings, which is pretty much different on every device. So make sure to check your device manufacturer for more details. Typically, you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions key, delete or escape key during boot. After restarting the computer with the bootable media in the uh, Windows setup, click the next button and now click the install now button. If this is a new installation, you will need to provide a product key 
but if you are doing a clean installation on a computer that already had a properly activated version of Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 and sometimes like even Windows 7 you won't have to provide a product key for the purpose of this video I'm just going to click the I don't have a product key option to continue then if you get this option make sure to select the edition of Windows that your product key activates in this case Windows 11 Pro and then click next check this option to accept the terms and then click next then click the custom option to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 and here if you had a previous version of Windows installed you, what you want to do is to select each of the partitions where you on the drive that you want to install Windows 11 and then click the delete button you don't need to delete the partitions on secondary drives that you're not going to be installing Windows 11 then select the unallocated space for the main hard drive and then click next to begin the clean installation of Windows 11 And here we are in the new Autobox experience to finish the installation of Windows 11. First, you need to select your region and then click Yes. Then select the keyboard layout and click Yes. If you need a second keyboard layout, select it here. Otherwise, click the Skip button. One of the new options on this updated version of the Autobox experience is the ability to set the computer name before completing the setup of Windows 11. You can skip this option, but it's recommended that you use it. When you click the next button, the computer will restart, but it will pick up where you left off. In here, we're just going to select the setup for personal use. If you're using Windows 10 Home, this option will not be available and then click next so here is the option to create a Windows 11 account if you like to use a offline account or local account click the sign in options link and continue with the offline account steps but we're going to be using a Microsoft account and then click next then I'm just going to authenticate with my phone and now we're going to create a pen so we don't have to use a password if you don't want to use a pen just click the cancel button right here this is another feature on Windows 11 and it is the ability to restore some of the settings and applications from a previous backup from another computer if you have different computers running Windows you can also click this option to restore from other devices but most of the time you just want to set up the installation as a new device and then click next now you need to choose your privacy settings all the options are turned on by default but you can turn them off the ones that you don't like and then click the set button so in here you can select how you're going to be using the computer so Windows 11 will be able to provide tips and advertisement based on what you select right here but you can always skip this option in here we get the option to set up a backup of your files to OneDrive but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to select the don't backup my files option and then click next Windows 11 also gives you an option to install the office apps and to get a Microsoft 365 subscription but you can always skip it and most of the time that's what you want to do
And that's it, we just completed a clean installation of Windows 11 on a computer that meets the minimum requirements. The last thing you want to do is also open the Microsoft Store and then open the main menu and go to Downloads and Updates and check for updates so you get all the apps including the new Microsoft Store app. That might take a while to download all the apps that are installed on your computer. Also, you want to open the Settings app and go to Windows Update and make sure to download any available updates. If there are any missing drivers, you can check on Device Manager. And if you find that anything is missing, make sure to check your manufacturer support website to download the drivers and install them using their instructions. And that's it. Remember to leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.